Dickens. There's three of them. Sci-fi, romance, and the detective edition. There you have it. These are storytelling games. And I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, if you don't like storytelling games, you can turn the video off. You won't like these. If you do like storytelling games, well, you can probably turn the video off too, because you'll like these. Here's how they play. Each of these games is played the same way. I suppose you could even mix them. This one has um, magnifying glasses. This one has hearts. And this one has spaceships, the sci-fi, romance, and this. You're going to be picking a person who will be a character. So maybe mine, I'll be a cadet that I'll play in front of me. And then you'll decide how many chapters of the game you want to play. And you'll take some thing cards, some place cards, and some person. I have monster trainer, farm, engine room, coupling, and cryo chamber. And then you start the story. So you're going to be playing these cards and giving people information about them in front of you. And you're just telling a story. Anytime you tell this story in the first person, you're like, and I did this, and I did that, and I'm the cadet. Whenever you use a word in your thing, and then I walked into the cryo chamber to see my mother off to her long sleep, you put that card in front of you. And you're just going to keep going. And for each card you played, you get a plot point. You'll take one of these tokens and put it in front of you. So... The goal of the game, says the book, is not to get as many plot points as you can, but to play the cards. You can use other people's plot points. You can put them on other people's cards that they've already played. Then you'll draw back up to five cards and start going again. There's some other things like writer's block, which, you know, if somebody can't figure out what to do, and there's some tips and things. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most plot points in other people's cards is the main character. And the person with the most plot points in their own card is the author. And you can write down the story titles and stuff in the book. But essentially, you're just telling a cooperative story. There's really no winner and no loser. So you, I, you saw some of the sci-fi ones. Like romance has different things. Maybe a billowing shirt, vacation, rainbow fight, campfire, glasses, and so on and so forth. So that's what's in that one. The detective people, we got nurse, son of a rich old man, out of town or priest, black widow, inventor. So that's kind of how these work. It's not really a game. My ranking of these is kind of an experience. I tend to like storytelling games. So I'll give them a six, uh, except for the romance one. I'll give that one a four. I hate romance. I don't hate romance. I love romance, but I hate playing romance. I think real life romance is great. I don't even mind watching a romantic movie. I have no interest in playing a romantic one. Even a sci-fi one's okay. My favorite one of these is detective stories. But it's kind of a shared experience. It's kind of a shared role-playing game. Why would I pick one of these over a role-playing game? I guess you have people, you gotta have people who wanna tell stories. You can see us playing it, probably not well, on the Dice Tower. We played a version of this, and they're fine. It's like, again, I mean, and they look like books, and they're nice quality. Pictures might have helped a little bit, I think. Or at least maybe some faint sketches or something. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. That's <laughs> the plot thickens. You're going to like telling a story or not. So that's how uh, you know if you'll like them or not.